there's no doubt in my mind that Bull has impacted probably on every individual's life in this country as we stand now. The mathematical analysis of logic, Bull's first book, published in 1847, included a theory now termed Boolean algebra. This was a mathematical language for dealing with questions of logic which is now needed in the design of modern digital equipment. But what is the core of Boolean algebra? It goes back to sets and whether uh, items fall into one set or another and whether they share attributes, whether, whether there are commonalities between those sets. And set theory had been around for some time before Ball. What Ball recognised was that you could apply rules that are very, very similar to arithmetic to those sets. So, for example, A and B would be similar in, in arithmetic terms to A multiplied by B. A or B would be similar in arithmetic terms to A added to B, yeah? So in one, one set forms part, the, the two, the, where the, the two sets are common, they're linked together, and that would be the AND function, and where they have completely separate attributes, that would be the OR function. Most of his learning was self-taught or taught by people in his immediate vicinity. And yet, without having a university degree, without going to Oxford or Cambridge, he was appointed first professor of mathematics at this new university at, in Cork in Ireland. Um, so from unlikely beginnings, he became very important in the development of mathematics in the 19th century. While teaching in Cork, he fell in love with Mary Everest, niece of Sir George Everest, the man after whom the world's highest mountain is named. They married in 1855 and had five daughters, who went on to have successful careers for themselves in the world of medicine and literature. Disaster struck one day when Bull got drenched by rain on the way to a lecture. He carried out the lecture in his wet clothes and developed pneumonia. Mary was a believer in homeopathy, curing an illness but adding the symptoms. She would often throw buckets of water over the dying George in an attempt to cure him. This would result in his eventual death on the 8th of December 1864. In all the units I teach, um, whether it be general electronics, digital electronics or microprocessors, there is a distinct section devoted to Boolean algebra and it does seem a shame to me that you know it, it's, it's Boolean algebra and it, people do not relate Bool with Boolean algebra and it's, it is a great shame I think because the, 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 the man has certainly had a huge impact. People who have more mathematical knowledge than I have have said to me that he was a greater man than he's given credit for. Although recognised as a genius during his own lifetime, the true impact of his theory hasn't been realised until now. All there is in memory of this forgotten genius is a stained glass window dedicated to his work in Lincoln Cathedral, along with just two other plaques around the city. In 1984, the Ball Library was opened in Cork, but perhaps his greatest memorial is the digital age we live in today.